Hello everybody. I'm so lonely at school now. I miss you so, 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 so much. Anyway, let's do our maths work. So we're going to play a game with days of the week. We're going to take it in turn. So for example, I'll say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, are you ready? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Well done. Let's try our months of the year song. January, February, March and April January, February, March and April January, February, March and April May, June, July August, September and October August, September and October August, September and October November, December Watch my face as we see the months of the year appear all around my face. Do they go this way or do they start this side? Let's have a look. January, February, March and April. January, February, March and April. January, February, March and April. May, June, July. August, September and October. August, September and October, August, September and October, November, December. Did you see that? They went around my head. And they went this way. And that's called clockwise. Can you pretend you're putting the months around my face when I sing the song? I want you to point where they go. January, February, March and April January, February, March and April January, February, March and April May, June, July August, September and October August, September and October August, September and October November, December which way do they go round? They go round this way. Can you do that with your eyes? Ready? We're going this way. They look funny. I'll go first. No, you go. Oh, your eyes go really funny when you do that. Okay, that's called clockwise. Go around this way. Let's move our heads around clockwise. you to teach your parents because they don't know teach them which way is clockwise if you're not sure find any clock in your house or any watch and look which way the hands tick around the clock they always go the same way and that's called clockwise tell someone in your family they'll think you're so clever Good job. I hope you've gotten okay with your month of the year calendar yesterday. There was some tricky reading there. Today you had another counting sheet. Slow down. Counting really slowly and calmly. Put your number in a circle in very, very slow, neat writing. Is it the right way round? It just helps us with a little bit of practice. What we're going to do today, you've got two sheets of paper. You've got this one that says R, D, A, Day. Oh, it's a nice sunny day, daytime. And you've got this one and that says Night, Night. And there's the moon. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. You have got these pictures to cut out doing various activities and then you have to ask yourself is this something I would do during the day or is this something I would do in the night or the evening this is my first picture and I looked at that and thought ah I'm in bed 
I go to bed at night time. Night time. In my next picture, oh, I go to bed at night time. Is that the same? Oh, let's read them carefully. This one says, when do you go to sleep? Night times, so that's right. And this one says, ah, oh, if I read this one, when do you wake up? Okay, when do I wake up? I wake up in the morning. So that needs to go on daytime. So just read it carefully. If my little baby sister did this, and it says, when do you wake up? She would have to put this one on the nighttime one as well, because sometimes she wakes up crying in the night. She doesn't always get up, but sometimes she does wake up. So you just need to make sure you read through that carefully or get an adult, adult to help you read that, okay? So you're going to put all of your pictures on either daytime or nighttime. If it gets on okay with that and you finish quite early, what you could do is put them in order. So during the day, I wake up and then I get dressed. Would I have... I get dressed first and then I wake up would I get dressed in my sleep and then wake up or would I wake up first get out of bed and then get dressed which one would I do can you put them in the right order down here I might have eat my breakfast or I might have eat my breakfast and then get dressed in different families, in different houses, people do things in a different order, so you can choose. It might be that there is no picture of anyone having breakfast, but we do have breakfast. Why don't you draw your own picture and stick that on? And then you can say to your parents, you can talk about the time. Mummy, which time is bedtime? What time is tea time? Which time is lunch time? And have a look at the clock. Do you go to bed at the same time every night? Do you have your lunch at the same time? Start looking at the clock and seeing what time you go to bed. What time do you wake up? What time do you have lunch? Because this week we're learning about time. Show me your clockwise finger and follow my finger out. Follow it. If I'm slow, you're slow. Try not to touch your screen or iPad because that will freeze me. Okay, follow. <laughs> oh, were you too slow? Meow. So always go clockwise. Okay, let's do our heads one more time before we go. <coughs> clockwise. Can you remember that? Go and tell someone in your family now. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.